Hi, right, in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to set up your own cluster environment between multiple Proxmox servers. So the first thing you wanna do is click on your data center up here. Then you get a new option that says cluster. We're gonna go ahead and create cluster here. Now keep in mind, if you notice, I have one VM on this particular machine and it's VM ID 100. Now, if you have other instances running with the same ID, you're gonna to have to change that ID. And if you look in the description of this video, I have another video on how to change that. So keep that in mind. Also, you can see all my, servers have different IDs of so 799, 399, because we're going to cluster all these together. So you don't want to have the same virtual machine with the same ID. So just keep that in mind. So we're just going to name this gray tech and this is the static ip for this server so that's fine and hit create it's that easy once this says task okay we're going to hit close out of the dialog box and we're going to see join information so let's go ahead and click on that and you're going to want to copy this join information close out of the dialog box go to your next proxmox server log into it same thing click on data center go to cluster join cluster now and we're going to paste that encoded information here and it will prompt you to enter the root password of the machine you are are connecting to so we're going to go ahead and put that in right now should be able to select this here the ip address you're using and then hit join so now that you get this error you're like oh no you know what do i do so i'm going to show you how to do this so what we want to do is just close out of this box you're going to want to power down each of your vms so i'm going to do that now so if you have vms running right now go ahead and power those down okay once you have all those vms powered down wait a second for them to make sure they're powered down minimize we're going to open up win scp our awesome tool that we love to use here we're going to go to our desktop see these config files well we what you need to do first is connect to your the host that you are trying to get it connected to that cluster you want to browse to this location pv nodes the server name and then qemu server once you're in there copy those configs over to your desktop here hit ok we're going to delete these configs now don't worry it's not deleting the data it's just deleting the configs and we already have these configs backed up so we're okay there go back into here you can see now there's the vms they're saying there's no virtual machines which is great that's what we want click on your data center do join cluster now go back to your first one because we need to copy this information again and then go back here paste that in we're going to type in that root password here and then hit join great tech now you can see we're not getting that error message anymore it logged in okay join request is okay now we just have to wait for the cluster service to stop and then restart and then we should be able to see both hosts under one login now so let's just give it a couple minutes here this does take some time while this is restarting let's go ahead and go back to our first host and see if it's and you can see our our other hosts are already populated in here so that's a good sign that the clustering is working so let's go back here to see if it's done it's still going so we'll just give it some time this does take some time so like i said let's just be patient all right i closed out of the data box sometimes you might have to log out log back into your proxmox environment and as soon as you do that you can now see you got the list of both of your hosts here you can see your vm store and everything is looking good and if we go back to our main host you can see we can see both hosts in that instance as well so you can see we're logged in into two different IPs. That was our host one. This is our host two. Now, now you're wondering like, okay, well, how do I get my VMs back once the cluster's here? Well, to do that, just bring those files back. So those config files, drag right back into that folder. Now you can close out of this. We don't need this anymore. Then uh, go back into our instance here and boom, you can see all of our VMs are showing up. Let's go into one and boot it up to make sure it's working. Let's go to our Ubuntu server here. Go ahead and power this up and make sure it's working then we're going to our server test here once i see it booting up into linux and there you have it and then we'll go over here to our windows server and start that up as well and go ahead and start up our windows 10 machine as well and there's our windows logo so we have that working go back to our host one you can see all these servers are now showing up in here that's great now this wouldn't be working if the ids were the same it would cause more issues so make sure your ids are different from your other host go back to here and everything seems to be working great and our server's booting back up everything looks good now let's go to our other host here and make sure from this host we can get to these servers and we don't get any errors and we can go into the console view yep so yeah we are all working so that's how simple it is to create your own cluster now to edit your cluster at any time you just need to click on your data center up here go to cluster and you can 
see your, the amount of hosts that you have here. So we're actually gonna add a third host. So we have a third host here that's running a simple file server and we wanna add this to our existing cluster. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. Go over here, we're gonna go into this VM. I just like powering things down. You don't necessarily have to, I don't think, but in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and power it down like I've done the other servers. While that's powering down, we're gonna open up our WinSCP. We want to SSH into this machine. So let's go to new site. We're gonna type in that IP address put in our root information. Now, if you, all you need to do is add two hosts and you can go ahead and stop this video because I'm just showing you how to do it again, basically. But we're gonna log into this host, hit yes. We're gonna go into that same file path, which is the ETC. Then we're gonna go to PVE. There we go, I just had to sort it. Then we're gonna go to the QEMU-server. We're gonna do the same thing here. Move that config out of here. Once the server's powered off, as you can see, it is powered off. Then we're gonna go ahead and delete it from this area. Then, we're gonna go back to our host and within a couple seconds, it, that VM should disappear, perfect. We're gonna go to data center, go to cluster, join cluster. Then we're gonna go to our main server here, go here to cluster, join information, same thing, copy information, close out. We're gonna go to our host three, paste that in. Same thing, we're gonna put in our root password and then hit join. Hopefully we don't get any errors this time. Like I said, the cluster joining does take some time because it has to restart services, create config files, put things in the config files and, and whatnot. So give it some time. Let's just let this run through and I'll continue as soon as it gets done here. All right, you know, it's been sitting at this for about five minutes. If this happens, you know, I think it's working okay if we go back to our main cluster. And yes, it did work because you can see, we can see PVE03 here now showing up. So let's go back here. Let's just go ahead and almost kind of open up new tab here and let's go to that server again the same 73 here and let's log in and see if it shows us all the vm sometimes it just you just need to log out just let it sit for a little bit if nothing's happening then just try logging in and yeah it did work there it is there's all the other hosts so yes it did work sometimes when it restarts the services oh wow it did finally complete okay interesting anyway it did finish and I, so like i said just keep the tab open let it run through wait some time if it doesn't nothing loads then just open up a new tab and log in again and see what happens uh so now our host has been added now let's go back to win scp drag that 3999.config file back so we get that virtual machine back in our uh, inventory and in a second here it should yep show the name let's go ahead and power this on make sure it still works which is in no doubt should be working still we can close that other tab and go into our other servers and you can see in each server no matter what you log into you can now see each cluster which is pretty awesome and if you go to the main data center branch here and go to summary you can actually see the statuses of all the uh, servers if they're all online you can see the total memory capacity storage cpus it's just nice to see all this in one area the usage memory uh and the cpu usage was great uptime all that good stuff now we're going to go ahead and add our fourth host um and like i said you're going through the same steps you're just removing that config if you have any servers running already make sure you power it down move that config join information and you know that's it you guys very easy and we have a three uh host cluster environment set up right now um we'll be adding more to it i uh, hope this video was helpful you guys and i'll see you in the next one and like i said if you want to see any other videos or anything with proxmox or anything else tech related please leave them in the description below let us know and i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe